There's a lot of different kind of bad drivers out there. Like, first of all, you have your stereotypes. You have women drivers, old drivers, Asian drivers, Russian drivers. <laughs> and then you've got uh, your, your style of bad. The red light jumpers and the cutter offers and oh, I don't know all the different names because I don't think there are any yet. Asshole and douchebag and motherfucker seem to be you know, pretty well-rounded terms that, that somehow cover everybody. You see these old people who, back in their day, the speed limit was, you know, at the max, 50 miles an hour, and they're on the motherfucking interstate where it's now 70, 75, or 80, and they're doing a whole 52 miles an hour because that's what they're comfortable with. Okay, if that's what you're comfortable with, fine, but stay on a fucking road that has that speed, okay? There are outer roads for damn near every interstate. Highways are about 55, 60 miles an hour. You can do 55 and a 60. As long as you're in the slow lane, you're not gonna bother me too much. I'm fine with that. But don't be doing 50 in a motherfucking 70 mile an hour zone. And expect people not to be fucking pissed off at you. Like you're holding up shit for everybody. If you can't handle that speed, don't get on that fucking road. Now when I say older guys, I don't want to piss off anybody. And you know, like, oh, you're, you're making fun of me because I'm older. Okay, I don't want to p get anybody's panties in a bunch. But when I'm talking like 70, 80, 90 even year old people, and not all of them, because I'm sure there's some 70 and 80, maybe not any 90, but 70 and 80 year olds out there who can still drive fine. So it's not a generalization of everyone in that age range. But if you can't see, if your vision is, you know, you can see four feet ahead of you, you need fucking reading glasses and driving glasses, and you you still, you can't fucking read the damn letters at the DMV and somehow they pass you anyway, you don't need to be driving. Because that's really all they do here. In my state, they, they make you take the vision test. That's all you need to renew your license at 85, 90 years old. If you can still read the letters, Lord help us if you got to memorize. There's a, I don't know if anybody's seen the show back in the day, King of the Hill. Well, the main character's father was a war veteran who couldn't see where the shit crashed into everything. And he was still able to renew his license every year because he had the damn letters memorized. Which, well, really isn't easy. You could send your 15 year old in there to to look at them and see what they are, write them down on a little piece of paper because they've got the memory. They're the ones who are going to be able to remember it when they walk back out, not you. And they can, you know, eventually study that piece of paper, get that one row of freaking letters memorized, be good to go. Now, I'm not, I'm not trying to uh, hate on old people uh, just because they're old. My, my grandfather is in his 70s now, and he drives fine. My grandmother, on the other hand, uh, does not. She's taken out more than her fair share of mailboxes, uh, and, and she's finally accepted that, and she drives a little bit less now. She won't drive at night, because she, she acknowledges the fact that she can't see at night, so she won't drive after dark. And uh, that's fine. Granted, she hit the mailboxes during the day. So she normally won't drive unless there's no other way for her to, to get from point A to point B. Now, out where she lives, there is no public transportation. So she can't just hop on a bus. She, it's, you know, dirt road for five minutes to the paved road and then 20 minutes to the town. So... Granted, she'll probably see one person through for her entire trip to town. She'll pass one car. Still, she doesn't drive unless she has to, which isn't very often. But there needs to be some some better form of testing for renewals. Like, I shouldn't be able to get my license at 15 and 80 years later walk in and, you know, 
to tell them what the top row of letters are and walk out with a renewed permit or a renewed license. That's ridiculous. What the hell is this up here? Did somebody crash? Or is he just stopped in his driveway? Because I can't see a driveway from here. Police. Collaborate or something. They're bad for those out here. You get back in these woods and them little hick towns, they get themselves a nice single wide trailer loaded up with them make chemicals and that cat pee and they make them good drugs and then they get that busted and it goes kaboom. That's a whole nother problem with the world. Like, why the fuck? Are you people so incapable of handling everyday life that you need to, to fucking do heroin? And, you know, it doesn't make any sense. If you're fucking depressed and you need to pick me up, they've got over-the-counter pills for that now. Uh, they've got prescription pills that you can get from a doctor and you can take that shit safer than fucking heroin. Granted, it's probably not the best thing for you, but it's fucking safer than heroin. What the fuck? And I don't know much about meth, you know, my next door neighbor growing up, no, I mean, the town next to mine growing up was like the meth capital of the world there for a couple years straight. And I still don't know, you know, shit about meth. The most I know about meth come from that show Dog the Bounty Hunter over in Hawaii. We were talking about crystal meth, which I'm not even sure is the same, the same damn thing. But for real, get a grip on your shit, people. If life is that bad that you can't fucking handle it without drugs, then you need to do more than take drugs to fix it. That's like, I, I don't know, that's like putting a band-aid on something and then stabbing yourself where the band-aid is and then putting another band-aid over it and then stabbing it. That does, I don't, I don't know. It's fucking stupid. Now, not all drugs are bad. Okay? Not all drugs are bad. Uh, I don't know what drugs are good. And I'm gonna leave it at that. I mean, I'm not... I'm not against legalizing marijuana. I, I am, however, against legalizing medicinal marijuana. Because I think that defies the purpose. Like, I don't... Oh, fucking litter bugs. I don't see the point of medicinal marijuana because most of that stuff we already have medicine for. And that medicine works uh, regardless of what some pothead says. Uh, just because they want some pot. And they're like, oh, well, my painkillers aren't working. Give me some pot. But And then the pot, you know, magically heals them. Yeah, yeah, there's been some studies that show that it, it helps reduce pain and anxiety and blah, 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 blah. But there's also some, you know, pills out there that are full of good toxic chemicals that, you know, do the same thing as pot. Now, with that being said, I am for legalizing uh, recreational use of marijuana. I don't, I, I don't see why the hell we can have alcohol and we can't have pot. We can smoke cigarettes, we can smoke tobacco at 18. Granted, it doesn't fuck you up. You know, it doesn't get you high like pot does, but alcohol <laughs> gets you fucked up. Pot gets you high. They're not the same feeling, but I, I'd relate those two closer together than fucking than tobacco. But it's never killed anybody that I know of. I mean, and even if it did, it, it's no fucking different than alcohol killing somebody and fucking let them do that who the hell knows i mean what we don't have fucking rights anymore so do what the hell you want whatever makes you happy is the bottom line